All right, chef, what's your dish? Salmon. Salmon. <laughs> <laughs> we have traditional Norwegian, it's the gravlax. So okay. I'm going to do that in a more simple way. We're going to grab it only for half an hour. Okay. And we're going to cook it. Awesome. So we're also going to use the spices from the aqua wheat on the- From the cocktail? Yes. Excellent. And cauliflower, Delicious. one of my favorite uh, vegetables. Okay. We're going to make a puree. Can I, can I prep this for you? What yeah. do you want? We want a puree, so you can just cut off something. Okay. Put in there, a little bit right. of water. And we're going to mix it with a chevre, a Norwegian chevre. Okay. Goat cheese. Uh, you want, what, just enough for a couple? Yeah, for two persons. <laughs> That's all right. So when you, you must have been a little surprised you won the gold, right? This bookie store was my goal since I were 13. Yeah, for me, of course, it was exciting when I won, but it has been a goal for a long time. I was just interested in food since I were a small kid. Were your parents good cooks or bad cooks? My mom, she is not that good cook. She just makes food because she has to. And my father, he like he makes food when we have guests. All right, so you're just taking, you're cleaning it up. Yeah. So you just want you want florets like this big, chef? Yeah, just a rest. Yeah, like that. Like that. Okay, got it. And then, can I get this cooking for you? You just yeah. want just a little bit of water. Okay. Once just like that. Fresh. Okay. How long does that take? It takes four minutes. Well, so, salt, <laughs> yep. sugar. Okay. So I didn't realize, so grav means to brine? Yep. And nice. we're going to have this spice. Beautiful. And how long do you let it grav for then? This it's, uh, should minimum be half an hour. Okay. You could do it the day before if you have the time. Right. And traditionally, grav locks is overnight, right? Yep. That's actually three, two to three days. Oh, you do? Okay. Yeah, I do it. And a little and orange there. like it's uh, salty food. Yeah. That's why they brine it so long or cure it. Okay. And we're gonna have some dill. Love it. And by the way, this salmon is so good. I loved I loved how we had that sashimi on the barge. Yeah. Right? It's delicious. Very good when it's raw. <laughs> I think that's easy if we just keep it like that. Keep everything raw. So now I just put it in the fridge. Okay. For half an hour. And then we come back, we're gonna do a little puree, and then what, and then saute some florets with mushroom? Yeah, I were out in the wood this morning, found this uh, beautiful mushroom. I don't know what you call it. It's a chanterelle. Yeah, so it's gonna say uh, chanterelle. The same. These ones are a lot of in Norway now. Okay, cool. All right, we'll keep prepping this, and then we come back, we're gonna sear off the salmon, right? Yep. Awesome. All right, so your gravlax is ready to go? Yeah, now it's ready. All right. For the. Uh, Cooking, so just a little bit of oil, neutral okay. oil. Right. What? Sunflowers or yeah. sunflower? Or... Rapeseed or sunflower. Okay. Or, yeah. So on this side. On the back side. Yeah. Okay. I'm a little bit opposite of all the other ones. Yeah. Usually they cook it on there because I like this fat to right. be cooked. Because you want to see the top yeah. unadulterated? Yeah. So this will take around five minutes maybe and with this, this thickness. Okay. All right, do that in the back. And then, Chef, we're gonna heat this pan for you here. Yeah. All right. So maybe this is. Yeah. And uh, can I grab this puree? This yeah. is good? So we're gonna use the goat cheese in this. Okay, nice. Uh, so you cook it just till all the liquid's gone. Yeah. Okay, how much of this goat cheese do you want in? Uh, just take the whole. The whole thing? Yeah. Okay, beautiful. So you're just gonna mix this in. It's obviously the heat of the cauliflower. Heat yep. of the cauliflower is melting the goat cheese. And we mix it with this so it gets smooth. Okay. Any milk, chef? I see milk here. Yeah, maybe a little bit of milk. Just a touch. Puree then season. Yep. Then we can puree it and then we see. Okay. So I like also that uh, these uh, cauliflowers when they're raw and just saute them. Ah, yeah, it's nice. Getting nice and smooth here. Your salmon's looking good back there. Awesome. I like it to be a little bit raw on the top, so people right. say it's difficult to cook fish, but it's uh, actually very easy, because like salmon, you see it change color. Yep. So you can actually see, see yeah. medium, medium rare, rare. Yeah. It's funny, even though we're on opposite sides of the ocean cooking, we have tons of mutual friends, right? Yeah. Our most famous chef is Thomas Keller, yeah. um, who obviously you know quite well, yeah. and Grant Akez and Jerome Bocuse, which are on the, they're the ones of Team USA. And yeah. I'm proud to be part and advised for that. Yeah, it's interesting to see now, Bookestore is coming big in US. Yeah, finally. It's good for us. Took us a while to get a medal, but you know what? I mean, Norway's probably won more medals than anyone. 
Yeah, yeah. Actually, think, Norway right? is Norway and France. Right, and France. Big for a small country like Norway. Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, you're five million people, yep. right? We're 250 like million. Half, it's like half of uh, New York. Yeah, you have more milk. You want a little thinner? No, it's okay like that. Yeah, keep going a little bit. Okay. All right. So, so I just add some uh, black pepper right. and uh, I use a little bit of soya because I think it works well with the mushroom. Yeah. Just a small amount. Good umami, right? Yep. Is that good enough, chef? Yeah, now we're good. Okay. All right. And your salmon's how much longer do you think? Yeah, we are soon there, like one minute. Are we good to go? We should plate up. How's that taste? Oh, that's good. I love cauliflower. Yeah. It's such, it's such an underutilized vegetable, right? I mean, so good. It's so silky, right? Okay, beautiful. Then we are there. All right, let's plate this up. And get you so your plates here, Sha. Oh, that looks Like awesome. now it's starting almost to be ready. All right. Start plating? Sure. Yep. Why not? Simple. Simple and beautiful. This restaurant has one of the most beautiful views. I mean, you're surrounded by water, literally. Yeah. So it's good for seafood. Yes. Yeah, actually, it's very difficult in Norway to find good seafood restaurants. So we're one of the few. People, when they go out to eat, they tend to like more meat. Interesting. Especially on these islands where we are now. Salmon people eat a lot at home. Right. So they don't want to buy it when they're out. That looks beautiful. This is something you can easily make at home in 20 minutes. So we do it like this. It looks so beautiful. So then you see the fish is... Yeah, completely cooked cook and crispy on the bottom. And a little bit raw on the top. Oh my God, that looks so good. Yep. Simple, clean. Awesome. All right. Oh, before we get to eat, can you just, I'm going to do a really quick dish using yep. cauliflower and salmon. Yeah, perfect. All right, then we get to sit down. Yep. Stick around.